Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to the Bearcat Sports Update with Coach Brett Simpson. I'm Paul Crutcher. Coach Simpson, you're 15 and 0 in uh, on the men's team. Uh, how have you been that successful in the Peach Bowl Conference? Right. Yeah, we've obviously had a good uh, first two thirds of the season, um, undefeated at this point. Uh, it's just you know the way the schedules worked out. You know we've uh, been able to accomplish our goals so far. Uh, everything has gone according to plan. Uh, you know when you look at the schedule, you, you're aware of the big matches, and so far we've gotten through. You know all the big matches uh, with flying colors. Uh, we were tested. Uh, one time against Augusta State, coming back from 3-0 down in doubles. But, you know, we pulled together as a team, so uh, it's worked out well so far. You know, we're 11 in the nation. Uh, we feel like we might even be a better team than that, so we've still got a few matches to go where we can prove ourselves. The coach, the women's team is 13-4 and four right now. Uh, they're playing pretty good, huh? Yeah, yeah. So far, we've had a good season. Uh, we've got we've got an experienced lineup. Uh, we you know, we've got a good group of juniors, got uh, four juniors in the lineup, so they've been together a couple of years, uh, and we've really improved uh, each year, and this year shows it. Right now we're at uh, 13, actually five, but it's the most wins we've ever had, and we've still got uh, more games in hand, so we're hoping to win a couple more for sure. Uh, we've solidified our place in the conference tournament already, and yeah, we've done well. We've competed hard. Uh, we've shown definite improvement. A lot of people that come to our games have uh, commented, you know, on how well we're playing this year in comparison to previous years. So that's that's nice to hear. As a coach, I see them on a daily basis. So sometimes it's harder for me to to recognize the improvements, but you know, the results speak for themselves. Now, coach, this is a, a two part question for you. You are a member of the Lander University Athletic Hall of Fame. You were a an athlete of the year back in 1994, not that long ago. And you're also a coach of the men's and the women's team. What's the challenges and what's the pride of coaching at your alma mater? Okay, yeah, I, I do coach both men and women's tennis. So, uh, you know, I got my hands full uh, with two programs. And, you know, it's interesting that they're, they're two, two different dynamics when you're coaching. Um, you know, two, two totally separate teams with uh, different personalities and not necessarily a different coaching style, but... You know, just aware of that, you know, to try to meet everyone's needs. Uh, it's not easy at times. Uh, matches can get hectic. You know, a lot of times we've got seven or eight on the court at the same time. So, you know, trying to keep up with all the matches. But, you know, you make it work. Um, you know, I've got two good teams, you know, and they, they adapt to my style. And, and you know, they help, they help out the situation. They definitely don't make it any more difficult. So I, I can't really complain. And what about uh, what about coaching here at Lander University? I've I've been in the uh, arena, and your picture is up there on the wall with some great company. So what's that like for you coming back here? Right. Uh, obviously, yeah, I played here at Lander uh, 1990 through 94. I was on four national championship winning teams, which you know at the time, uh, you know that's that's what we played for. You know, we worked hard, we achieved it. Um, you know, and at, at that time in your life, you know, I never thought that I'd be back here coaching. <laughs> you know, that that seemed uh, not even a consideration. But, you know, I got into coaching and, you know, things went well where I was coaching at. And, you know, the opportunity came when uh, the legendary Coach Cabri retired. And uh, Mr. May, our athletic director, you know, wanted to see my interest in the job. And obviously, you know, it's just a great uh, opportunity to come back and coach where you played. I don't know how many people get that opportunity, so I definitely wanted to take it. And, you know, I'm as proud as anyone of the history, and, you know, I want to see us succeed at that level. Uh, what Coach Cabra did may be uh, unattainable, but, you know, I don't think like that. I just, you know, try to get the most out of our teams that we can. Um, definitely, you know, I'd love to win a national championship as a coach and as a player. I, I don't know if that's how many times that's been done before, so that's definitely a goal. And, you know, I really believe I can reach that goal at some point, uh, whether it's this year or in the future years. You know, that's definitely my goal. I know the standards have been set high, but that's why I came here and that's why I want to do it. I want to carry on the legacy. And, you know, I'm as proud as Lander as anyone. And, you know, I want to see us succeed. Coach, you're nearing the end of a tough Peach Belt Conference season. What, what lies ahead for the teams now? Yeah, you know, we're heading into April, uh, the business end of the year, so there's a lot to play for. Uh, we've 
you know, on the men, we've positioned ourselves nicely so far. Uh, we still got four very tough matches left on our schedule, uh, four top 12 in the nation teams. So, you know, it's a lot to play for still at the end. Uh, we've got our conference tournament on both sides, men and women. Uh, on the men, it looks like we, we should be in the NCAA tournament no matter what happens. Uh, obviously, we want to do as well as we can to get the highest seeding possible to give ourselves the best chance of moving through. But, yeah, there's still a lot to play for. Um, both teams will, will qualify for the postseason. The women are going to have to beat uh, somebody ranked high if they want to continue on past our conference tournament. But And the men have a, you know, we've got a real shot to do something special. So we're just, you know, we're working hard and we're, you know, we're, our goals are very high. You know, we're not going to settle for anything other than, you know, trying to win a national championship. And that's, that's what we're going to strive to do. Sounds great. For Coach Brett Simpson, I'm Paul Crutcher. Join us next time on the Bearcat Sports Update.